coming weekend now that a live theatre show is happening in Norwich and the Great Barrier Reef all at the same time. Frogman is the story which integrates virtual reality into its performances. Theatre goers will uh, get the chance to explore the deep blue and other locations thanks to Curious Directive Theatre. I was lucky enough to pop down to uh, the Theatre Royal Stage 2 to experience this magical world for myself. The company looks at exciting uh, questions uh, and stories relating to science and um, this one is about a story set uh, on the Great Barrier Reef um, and it's a small fictional town on the edge of the Great Barrier Reef. It's a coming of age story about a group of 11 year olds, a bit like Stranger Things or Super 8 or any of those references and uh, and that's what you see in virtual reality you see there you see that summer we've got the, the headset set out on the chairs which are in, in two rows on a rectangle and the sea tell me about the sea bed we can see there which is, which is about I don't know a couple of meters wide and how many meters long is it yeah, so the stage is, uh, it's, not, it's not a normal stage, it's, uh, yeah, it's a seabed floor and on there that's where the, that's where the acting, uh, the live action happens during the, during the play and you watch in from these um, kind of like speedboat chairs that all swivel 360 degrees and the reason why uh, they're 360 degrees is so when you're in VR you can see all of the, all of the action around you. So, it's probably just the first one, I think. Sit on that chair. Sit on this chair here, right, okay. Then if you put these headphones on, they go right. over the back of your head. These headsets, they're about um, eight inches across, and they're, they're well padded, and they've got some really serious lenses in there, look. Eddie, what are the lenses doing <laughs> in the VR headset? You're actually watching the screen of the phone, yeah. um, and it gives you two, it divides the, screen, the phone screen into two, uh, and you get a slightly different image for each half and that gives you the 3D image effects, yeah. uh, and the, so the lens is just then so that you can focus on the phone screen it's, it's right. quite close to your face um, three straps on the left yeah. hand side the right hand side and the top and then on the top that's actually a focus button so when you first put the headset on oh I see yeah um, so if we now put this on a bit of velcro action going on there okay well, so here we go. On, you should see. Uh, it says your VR headset is temporarily paused. Yeah. It, oh wow! Already, even with just that little message, I can't find Velcro straps. Hang on, here we go. Yeah, I'm there. Yeah. <laughs> so then, Roisin, just, just pressing oh, play. Yeah. So you should see a um, um, little animation of the uh, the houses, the Australian like typical Queenslander houses. I was babysitting for Mr. Clark both nights. Upstairs, Mira was asleep. She goes to bed very late. Anna and I stay Oh, yeah, yeah. This is just Could you want to be leaning forward? I make a brush of tea. Um, she gets a fish. And yeah. Then, we're about to go into the bedroom. So this is... Um, a 90s filter over this uh, 1995 bedroom and these are the three characters yeah, this is weird I'm actually in somebody's room there are three girls over there sorry if you keep turning my head around it, yeah it's 360 you can just see all around and then it kicks in about now. I fell asleep about midnight and I heard Mr Clark come in about 5am on Saturday morning basically you're watching how they're all reacting to the disappearance of this girl so it's like the trope of a crime drama where actually the most unlikely people are probably talking the, the truth about what's really going on and then you take this um, underwater do you? it goes uh, forward to a scuba dive to the search and rescue on the Barrier Reef so there are a number of different shots that were actually filmed by me in fact in various locations underwater no, it must in itself have been a wonderful experience yeah it was it was very weird um, it was very weird experiencing the corals because they are just completely beautiful and so you can be completely transported there with this sort of um, technology. So you now will be hovering, uh, you're hovering about 20 metres off the reef shelf, so you're, you're now in just in blue water, and you can hear your own breath because you're obviously scuba diving, and then you're about to see straight ahead of you, you're about to see a scuba diver who's just preparing himself. You look to your left, I think, actually. Oh, there he is. Yeah. <laughs> So that's a that's a fully costumed police diver, um, and uh, and he's he's about to go searching over the reef. This is you get all the thrills of scuba diving without having to worry about uh, the fact that you're in charge of your own your life. life. <laughs> So you have your own personal experience and then when you take your headset off you've got 50 people who are all thinking <laughs> wow that what was that what was that yeah what was that and then and then you have 50 people who are obviously watching the live parts of the show so so you get the brilliance of being in a theatre and enjoying seeing a show with other people but also the um, 
I guess, the completely unusual experience of having your own. Uh, what was that? Yeah, that was brilliant. It was Frogman. Thank you very much to uh, Jack Lowe there. The show is on until uh, the 29th of April at the Norwich Theatre Royal Stage 2, just around the back of the main theatre. Uh, CuriousDirective.com for more information. And uh, there is a little uh, taster video there for you to have a look at. <laughs>